We are having a very special event tonight. Uh, I came all the way from New York just for the sake of uh, honoring the memory of uh, Professor Berham uh, Kushinoldu. I'm also honored to have the professors from University of Miami and from also Oxford, uh, Professor Thomas uh, Kurtwright and his spouse, uh, Mrs. Joanne Kurtwright, and also uh, Paul Frampton from England. Uh, we are trying to commemorate a very special member of the Turkish American community. Uh, it is in, very interesting that on Friday we had a day, an evening of Karadeniz Lergecesi, the night of the people from Black Sea. Happens to be that this gentleman, Behram uh, Kurşoğlu, is also from the Black Sea coast. This is Turkey, and the spot over there in the corner is Trabzon province. <coughs> Very close to the Georgian borderline, and this is again Trabzon. It's a city, it's a, a town, rather a village between Riza and Trabzon, and also north of Baybut. And this is the Chaykara uh, region, and it is the village name is Soanlı village. And the spot is the Soanlı village. It's actually a mountain village. Uh, the, there's a special uh, Chaykara newspaper, which also publishes on the web, on the internet these days, they also put a page for Professor Behram uh, Kurşunoldu to honor his memory. Happens to be that there is also another city just south of the Chaykara, around over here someplace, which is Baybord province. This is Baybord over here. And the the city, the village over there, also claims that he was also born in that same, uh, in, that, in their own village. Uh, the confusion started because uh, apparently the family moved from Chaikara to Baibut, and that's where he spent his high school, middle school years, and after going to the Istanbul, take the Istanbul University. Uh, Behram Kushnoldo was born in 1922 on March the 14th. The Turkish physicist and founder of the Director of Center for Theoretical Studies at the University of Miami. He was I'm reading this from the Wikipedia. He was best known for his works on unified field theory, engineering and global issues. Moreover, he participated in the discovery of two different types of neutrinos in late 1950s. During his University of Miami career, he hosted several Nobel Prize laureates, including Paul Dirac, Lars Onsager, and Robert Hofstadter. He wrote several books on diverse aspects of physics, the most notable of which is a modern quantum theory. Let me explain our uh, reasoning, uh, our reason why we are here today. We actually have uh, in the United States a couple of uh, individual scientist organizations. Uh, Professor Kushnoldu died in 2003, but in 2004 
our Istanbul Technical University Alumni Association was founded, plus there was another major organization called TASA, Turkish American Scholars and Scientists Association was founded, which has an extensive a number of uh, members throughout the whole United States and even Canada. Prior to that, in 1970, there was a, a MIM, uh, which was founded in 1970 and called uh, the Society of Turkish American Architects, Engineers and Scientists, founded in New York. I must also uh, thank the organization of the uh, Florida Turkish American Association, and I'm also proud of them having such a wonderful uh, environment for a, as a community center, which is really unique in the United States. And uh, they are hosting this event. I'm really thankful for that also. And this will be our beginning. In the future, we are hoping to do much more, uh, many more uh, events here in Florida. Uh, uh, I must read from uh, the son, Ismet Kurshinoğlu, a quotation which he made, a, a presentation he made after his father's death in 2003. It says, but let us not forget that at the same time he managed, his father, to remain true to his roots and had a very special love for his mother country. He had a profound respect and gathered huge inspiration from Kemal Atatürk's vision of a society based on reason, fairness, equality of the sexes, and most importantly, for promoting a society steeped in education and knowledge of the arts and sciences. He also mentions that Mr. Uh, Professor Kushnol was very close to Paul Dirac as a family. And they went to uh, picnics together uh, with the kids and uh, their spouses uh, in the uh, Florida region. This is uh, Professor Kuchnoldo, and this is his teaching at the, uh, at the university. This happens to be uh, one of the earlier uh, conferences he started. He actually started the uh, Coral Gables conferences, the physics conferences at the University of Miami in 1964. And this is a picture uh, from one of the events in the classroom. Uh, from the conference. Com com this is on the left is uh, Paul Dirac, who is actually a very uh, influential physics professor. And this is his picture on the left, and this other book on the right hand side is written by uh, uh, Beram Kurshnoglu and Eugene Wigner. Uh, Thomas, uh, Professor Thomas Kurtwright and Paul Frampton, they both have known and been friends and close associates with Paul Dirac and the rest of the, also Mr. Wigner, right? He was also a professor at the University of Miami. Dirac was a professor there for uh, two or three years and then he went to Tallahassee, Florida State University of Tallahassee. And this is uh, him uh, visiting Dr. Einstein, Professor Einstein, Albert Einstein in Prong in Princeton. He went to discuss a few issues of uh, physics, uh, theories of physics. This is November 19, 1953. In, at Einstein's home. And this happens to be a picture of him having a, a receiving a, a award from the 
American uh, Atatürk Society of America, we will discuss this. Uh, Ms. Iqbal Bora uh, will present the, the information, the, the news. And this is him speaking at the Atatürk Society uh, for receiving his, his award, at the time of receiving his award. And this is, on the right hand side, is the ambassador, Turkish ambassador, uh, Ilkin, Pro, uh, Baki Ilkin, who presented him the award at that time. It is interesting, this happens on the left, happens to be 1964 proceedings of the my, uh, of the conference he started. This is the beginning of all the conferences and he apparently put in 1964 as well as 1965 the picture of Nasrettin Hoca. That's why, that's how he was so close to his roots. And apparently he mentions over here the symmetry of principles, symmetry principles at high energy. <coughs> This is the uh, proceedings publication from 2003. He actually passed away just before, a month or two months before the uh, conference of 2003. And this was uh, put together by Thomas and Stephen uh, Mintz, whom I also met, I had the honor to meet, and Arnold Perlmutter, who also a good guy, in November in last year. These are his books, Behram's books, on high energy physics and global economic issues and so on. These are his, this is book on, uh, with, again, as you can see here, Behram and Arnold working together on similar subjects. This is his wife, Sevda, and this is his old age, Apparently, he died in, in, in at the age of 81. And this on, on the left is Arnold, Arnold Permuter. And on the right is Sid Meshkov, if I pronounce the name correctly. And I actually met Sid, Sidney uh, at the conference. I was at the conference full time, attending all the physics uh, speeches without even understanding the subject. I learned a lot, thank you very much. And this is uh, the president of University of Miami during those years, 1964. He is one of the influential people who started, who introduced uh, or encouraged uh, Professor uh, Behram Kurshnoğlu to start the conferences, which are still continuing at the moment, at this time, and had major impact in the physics community. I thank you very much for my, uh, at the end of my talk. After my talk, uh, uh, Ms. Iktur Boray will actually uh, speak on behalf of the Atatürk Society of America, and following her will be uh, the professors Thomas Kirkwright and uh, Paul Crampton talking <coughs> On the uh, on their memories with Pepper. Like each one of us will possibly be finished five six minutes. Thank you very much. I want to add one more thing. You will not believe this, but the astronomy a profession, uh, the science of astronomy in Mexico was actually started by a lady from Istanbul, uh, Professor Pishmish, who migrated with her husband to Mexico and she started the physics, the astronomy education as a professor in Mexico. She is still being remembered over there. She's, she was born not far from my place. She was born in Ortaköy in Istanbul.